recently I've been trying to learn some model stuff and I noticed that there are no tutorials in regards to Gears of War and I find that very annoying so once I learned I always told myself that I would do tutorials and I would make some tutorials for you guys so you guys could potentially learn as well um, I don't know why but there has been I, I only found one Gears of War model tutorial out there and it wasn't even a tutorial it was very basic tips and it was by chaos richie that's it so i'm gonna do this for you guys um hopefully it goes somewhere so um i have a ton of stuff model wise um and yeah this is gonna be we will do a couple different things so the first thing is here is my <coughs> sorry I'm sick here is my Kim model my min model I should say so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna learn how to uh, basically what's the word um, texture them so we got to go into my folder for min right here and we're gonna go into texture so you see all these and you don't really know what any of them are so this color bit I'm gonna just gonna throw this one on there. Um, I don't know. It's D, which typically would stand for this. I'm pretty sure, but color works fine as well. Um, uncheck this because right here in your preview box, you see it kind of like uh, adds a reflection to it, and I just I don't think there's even a point to doing that. Um, then you kind of follow these signs. So you go to specular color, which is the S one. Put that on. Make sure the box is checked. You go on to normal. And then you're gonna go into here. There's that. Okay. And obviously, when you work with Cinema 4D, you turn ambient inclusion on. So now, if we preview it, we're gonna see it load up pretty, uh, pretty well, to be honest. Um, that looks pretty good, pretty clear. Um, obviously, we'll go to the back as well, just so you can see both sides of him. Again, looks really good, looks really clean and clear. So now that he is done being textured, now we go into the next bit, which is called rigging. So rigging is one of the more annoying parts you have to do. And there is this file right here, which is called bone. So it's really, really, really tiny. Um, and you go to coordinates, I think 11.5 usually is the, the good one I find for that. So if you rotate it, it's um, all roughly um, similar and it, it basically lines up with him. So when you open up, you have all these things, lower, middle, upper, etc. I like that. Um, these are what most people fuck with is the arms and the legs and then um, depending on how real you're getting with your animations and you don't even have to animate I mean you can just you can do this basic rigging and then have them in a position like you can you don't have to actually do any animating which I guess I'll do a separate video for but this is just gonna be the basic concepts of texturing your guy as well as rigging him up um, one more thing as well is to fix lines that you see on the side you right click on the character go to tags and then you click on Fong basically there's lines um, it creases I'll call them throughout here and that sort of helps with that so we open back up into our skeleton right clavicle and right shoulder and right clavicle you usually don't have to touch or mess with at all because it's <coughs> it's inside the body so you don't ever move that bit but the shoulder bit is something that you are going to move so you want to make sure that it's not um, too far inside the body and you can move it uh, pretty well so you go through each and every single one of these points and we got to line them up basically where it would go if that makes sense uh, elbow roughly right here move it up a little bit like that and do the forearm as well again like model stuff it takes time and that's a lot of the reason why people don't do it but 
for people that actually want to learn how to do it there is no tutorials for it and that's the issue that I have um, is there no tutorials <laughs> everything I've had to learn I've had to watch like Call of Duty videos and stuff like that and it is kinda different so it, it doesn't always work out the same which is an issue um, you open up your wrist into your fingers and normally uh, the fingers are kinda weird cuz I don't really know any place you're supposed to put them so I kinda just put them like right here <laughs> um, maybe a little more down so I'll put the fingers right there um, so if you see this side is where it started and this is what it looks like now and you'd go through the entire um, each one same thing like we did here and then uh, for this again you don't really touch the hip but then you these are usually not bad uh, I would say maybe just slide it over a tiny 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 bit you want to get again it's the knee so something like that and then left knee as well right in there yep so uh, the ankles and feet they look fine um, I'm gonna jump cut real quick just so I can do this left arm and yeah I'll be right back okay so I just finished up with the left arm so if we rotate around the character you see that all the points are inside of him and everything is looking fine and dandy so the next thing you gotta do you're gonna drag this skeleton bit into here right click go to select children then you're going to control click on the character and then go to character bind okay so now um, let me just do a test real quick go to the rotate tool and so yep so the character is all rigged right now and you might be thinking well what the fuck is this shit so the next tool that we gotta do to really um what's it called to to make it look good is this is another bit that kind of sucks to do but it's one of the tools that you kind of have to do so if we go into the character and we click on weight tool we come to this point and um, again you don't touch the clavicle area because you're not ever moving the clavicle okay and the right shoulder you want to start at the shoulder and then go down okay so we start on the right shoulder we click back on it oh, shit. click back on our weight tool and we're gonna click erase visible only and then turn this bitch up to a hundred and basically weight is a sen I don't know how to uh, word it so we're gonna pretty much we're on the shoulder right now so you wanna erase everything that's not connected to the shoulder that is not the shoulder because that's that's not supposed to move the weight tool basically adds like um, movement not I don't wanna say movement it just it's saying that all this green right here is part of the shoulder so Again, we go through, delete all the stuff that is not the shoulder, and it's important that we do um, the best job we can right now. Um, so we gotta make sure we get all of it. Get rid of that. Uh, okay, so now we go into the next bit we go go down to the elbow and you see it looks like we just erased all this but then when you come here it's not here so um, you you literally just gotta keep going so you can't delete this one right now which tells me that it's gonna be in the wrist or the fingers or something like that so again you gotta get all the green we can so that's good now we click on the forearm and as you see it's really starting to, to even out now all right and then Go this side, there's a little bit right here. And then you go to the wrist, and it should get really, really good if not done after the wrist. So, once we get rid of this, we come back through, we look, see if there's anything going. No, click on fingers or click around, maybe we get something. So, now this is done, this arm, and then you're gonna see that when I render out the final version. Um, it looks pretty good right now, and then if we go back through we click on the right shoulder We can Rotate the shoulder etc. And it's not moving any of this stuff like it was before um, And then you obviously would do it with this side as well um, Let me just render this out real quick so I can show you what it'll look like if you don't do the weight tool it basically deforms it just like that so 
again we're going to go back through switch back to our weight tool and we're going to do the exact same thing we just did everything's already done um, one thing you got to be careful about is this tool right here because it's visible or we checked off the visible only is it'll go through all the way to the other side so if you add weight and I like, click right here you'll see weight is added on this arm too because it's only doing uh, basically the entire way through so if you're adding weight you probably want to click this box on so that way it doesn't add like unnecessary weight that you don't want it to if that makes sense uh, so yeah I guess that looks good for now um, again this is something that you're gonna you put a lot of time into now and then in the future I need to check the back side but I think this one's actually not too too bad besides these few yeah, so yeah, that looks good so um, usually you don't have to mess with the legs the legs aren't terrible but again this is something that you're gonna put time into until it's good so again move this along it looks good um, maybe a little bit oh I will move the clavicle that's why dumbass so again we move this looks good um, you want to add or put in as much time as you want in order to get it to look smooth you don't have to I went pretty quickly where I would probably take more time to make sure some of the armor up here maybe doesn't move because you gotta think about this is this is literally a piece of armor it's not meant to move when you move his arm so if I move his arm right here it looks pretty decent I would say come over here you see there's a little bit right here moving so that's something that I would you know clear out when I'm actually doing it so uh, again I'm not gonna do any animations but again here you can move the, the this is at the elbow joint forearm wrist so now see like the, there's that and then the whole um, this is actually pretty much how you motion track something or not motion track what the fuck this is how you animate it so you basically you add the keyframe here and then you'd add the movement that you want so essentially when it plays through this entire timeline it's gonna do it's kinda like pan and cropping in Sony Vegas so that is like a really basic rundown of how to motion or animate things it's obviously a lot more difficult than that but um yeah that's basically just the basics of texturing and rigging your models in Gears of War. Um, I know it's also really hard to get models, so I'm not gonna do it yet. I'll make a video with all the links and downloads, whatever, to the models that I have for you guys as well. Um, and if you guys have any questions, ask me, and I will also do more tutorials if you guys want me to do tutorials on other aspects of modeling. So um, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, I hope you guys learned something, and I hope to see you guys doing some modeling stuff for Gears of War in the future. Alright guys, take it easy. Peace out.